So belt pegs are what keeps the belt tightened. The idea about the belt is that um, there's two different holes on an idler. One is the thinner one that's got the ribs in it that catch the ribs of the belt. But you, you simply have to wind it through. So I'd start on, a, on the idler side. And uh, it should go through relatively easily, but you might want to curl it. Curl it a little bit, just in your hands, so that it's easier to go through. Goes bottom up? So, does it? Yeah, okay. Does it matter? Uh, well, actually, it does matter which, which, where the broken part is, whether it's on the top or the bottom. So I'm going to keep threading it, and, and I, if I keep threading this way, it's going to end up on the bottom at the smaller hole where we need to catch the belt. So we're, catch, we're going, so around the motor now, once again, I'm going to curl it around a little bit, make sure it goes through. Does it matter if the small hole's in the top or the bottom? It does not matter. Okay. We fixed that through wiring on electronics because it's too hard to, to keep track of all those. Okay. Hmm? It doesn't matter. I was trying to go like, what's the example? Yeah. No, don't look at the, the belt <laughs> location, the, the belt plug. Okay, so this is where right now, if I had this in my hand, I could, like, gravity can help it as well. Mm -hmm. So maybe, you know, I, I might turn it like this because it's going to, sometimes it can be challenging to get it in. We might, because of that issue, we might want to modify this piece so we actually take out that, modify a little so it's a little easier to thread because sometimes it's not easy. It depends on the quality of the printed pieces. If there's like a bunch of right. roughness on the inside where the curve is, it's going to be hard to get the belt in. Um, but also, when you have it in your hand, you can move it around in three dimensions, and that makes it easier to do. So, I, you know, I got this little curve on it. guy is still loose I'm gonna just take him off see because now I'm just trying to push it through casually it's not going through sometimes it does sometimes it just doesn't since we're at the first axis let's now see now I can kind of like work with it better I can see like what's inside if I see any obstruction it looks good And if it's not going through well, like you can see it, you, you do have a hole on one side. So you can kind of see it, okay, where am I going? And then you might need to help it with a pointed tool. Yeah, so it's getting stuck right at the bottom part. It's not curving around. So I'm gonna try to just bend it a little more. So there's no specific magic to this? You just have to kind of get it around? No, no magic. This, this curve is important. You can tie a piece of string. See, now it just went through because I went through that little bump, so good. Mm. But I had to look at where it was because I would have been pushing, and so it, it does help it to be off the axis. So um, do not, actually, don't do the further axes without putting them in place. Now the pegs. So the pegs, the way they work is you thread one side through all the way, catch the peg on the other side of it, go inside through the peg on it. So this is my peg pegs, they have a hole through the inside. The belt goes actually through it. Oh, and then the belt tightens the peg into the hole, basically, uh -huh. itself. So, so next, you got to catch the belt. Now, okay, so about half inch to an inch, however much you got, you want to catch it inside that hole under the peg. So you put it inside. Okay, and the peg. Can you, can you show it like around a little bit, or to the camera even? So the the end of the belt goes in right goes here. inside the hole, and now the belt here could have been like a, an inch longer, but I caught this one. I'm catching that one under the peg. I have a solution for there. the motor. Great. Okay, there. Great. Okay. Hold on just a second. 
Uh, so this is the one I threaded through, so I'm going to push that through the peg a little more. It does come out, but you need at least some. That's, that's a bit short. I mean, it is short, but you can still grab it, so it still works. And then to tighten the axis, I would not tighten it. So we got it threaded through. We might put like the other belt like very loosely in for now because then you tighten it. But when you tighten it, tighten it on a frame so you don't shrink this. Like if you put pull a lot of force on this, you might, depending on how tight these are, you might actually push them in. You don't want to do that because then you won't fit your holes. So, yeah, and I'm catching that so I don't lose the belt from within the peg hole. So I'm just going to catch it just like, let's put it back on the machine. How are we doing here? Which it looks like this. And this is where a serrated table is not great for this work. Okay, so we're gonna put it back on. Okay, put the nuts on. And we need a pliers to tension the belt. So, little, the small orange pliers, or not, you got something. But the idea here is, thank you, grab the belt like that. So this peg is in tight. I pushed it all the way in. I'm going to grab the, the belt. Now you got to take that one out, to, of course, to, so it goes in. So you can actually pull it. So what I'm doing right now is tensioning the belt. How tight do you make it? So you can play music. It should strum. Make, make a sound. So then you push that, the back side in. And there you go. So that should stay like that. And this is a tightened belt. So, so with these simple pegs, you, you get to tighten the belt. It's very solid, so it's good. So like that. Okay. Anyone replicate that?